All right, driver, something we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna have a little quick how-to on how to calibrate your gauges on your trailer and tractor. Uh, it's pretty simple, but you need to make sure two things. One, you're loaded. That'll be helpful. And two, go to a certified scale and get a um, printout. And after you get done your printout, either go back on the scale you're at and calibrate them real quick there, or uh, make sure you're on a real flat surface but loaded calibrated and you're gonna need a tool that's about the size of a uh, screwdriver meant for eyeglasses so you get that small screwdriver you're good to go and I'm about to load at 3 a.m. here in Little Rock so once I get loaded and down the road I'll stop in Russellville and uh, get a scale ticket and we'll do part two of this video okay so here's our uh, certified cat scale that I just got done here in uh, Roland, Oklahoma. Uh, you can see it shows I'm a little heavy on my steer tires. Not surprising because I just totally topped off from fuel. But uh, it uh, has me at 33,160 on my uh, drives and 33,480 on my trailer. So well, first, gonna step back and look at this. Here's my gauge for my tractor, and in my particular trailer, my gauge is right there. So let's look at the trailer first. It's 33,480, and if we go to the gauge here, it's reading just over 34. So it's showing a little high, just over 34. See that? Let's show a little high. So. I'll take my handy dandy little tool here, a little bit of screwdriver, and I'm going to place it right in there. You see, as I turn it, it's going to manipulate it back and forth. I'll just take it up to 33.5 so it's in the proper spot. Right there is about perfect. And charger gauge. 33,160, so I should be just right above 33, and I'm about 32 and a half right now, so we're just there. Just a skosh above 33, and I'm pretty accurate right there. So I'm down just above 33. Alright, and as you'll notice, if you look out here where I'm at, very flat surface so it's about as accurate as we can get so that's how to uh, calibrate your gauges okay Three. so that's it pretty simple I know but uh, if you didn't know how now you know how and uh, remember make sure you're loaded before you do it it's not gonna work very good when you're empty but until next time you guys take it easy